Come on home. Cecilia. This is the Cecilia Report, and I'm Cecilia. And as of last Wednesday, I finished up my very first year of vet school, which seems absolutely crazy to me. So today, while it's still fresh in my mind, I thought we'd go through what it's like to transition from college to vet school. Now, a disclaimer, I went directly from graduating my spring semester of college to going to vet school directly that fall semester. While I hope this video will have relevancy to everyone who watches it, including my non-vet med friends and family, hi papa, my experience is probably a lot different from someone who took gap years in between college and vet school, those who had full careers before pursuing veterinary medicine, and even probably those who went to vet school at the same school they did their undergrad at. Transitions are always difficult, no matter what you're doing. If someone tries to tell you that a major period of change in their life was super easy for them, they are lying to you. So academically, vet school is very much more challenging than college not gonna sugarcoat it. The overall difficulty level of the material that you're learning in vet school is pretty much in line with the really upper level biology classes that you took. The problem is, is that in college, you're probably only taking one, two, maybe three really difficult science classes at a time, and the rest of your schedule was bulked up with filler classes. While in vet school, it's like your most difficult classes in college, but you're having them four hours a day, every day, plus labs. Basically what I'm getting at is that you're learning a whole lot more bulk of information in vet school than you were in college. For example, all of my notes that I took in undergrad fits into about a binder this size and about three of these notebooks, plus a small stack of note cards. My first year of vet school notes takes up this entire three inch binder, at least 14 of these bad boys, a really large stack of note cards, and many, many files that are stored in either my computer or iPad that I just never ended up printing. <laughs> that being said, the material you're learning in vet school is significantly more interesting. The required pre-vet coursework really sets the stage for the disease processes and motives of therapeutic options that you're learning about in vet school. I truly did love the material I was learning in college, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that we didn't talk about cats as much as I would have liked. Altering my thinking and perception of grades was part of my transition that was super difficult for me. The thing is, when you're pre-vet, it doesn't even matter what level elementary, high school, college, everyone in your life expresses to you the importance of grades. You are very quickly turned into Ash from Pokemon. I wanna be the very best. Like me, most pre-veterinary students are overachievers. By all regards, I'm doing quite well in vet school, but I got a B plus in a class. That's never happened before. And as someone who was told their whole life that grades were everything, it was very difficult for me to come to terms with. Even if you were like me and got above a 98% in every single test they took in college, you cannot get perfect on exams in vet school and also keep your sanity. Now, don't get me wrong. If you come in as an overachiever, you are going to do very well academically. You're just not gonna be perfect anymore. Socially, vet school was also an adjustment from college. Now on weekdays, I don't see much of a change from my schedule in college. I was used to getting up at 6, doing school, studying up until 9, 10 p.m., watching an episode of a show, and then going to bed. The difference is, is that in college, I was able to take the weekends to do non-school related things and not really worry about school at all, maybe lightly reviewing my notes. I can't do that in vet school. I'm not trying to scare anyone. Vet students do take breaks sometimes. We have a lot of game nights, go bowling, things like that. But even on the weekends, I'm still studying six, eight, sometimes even 10 hours just trying to keep up with the material. I will say though that it was a million times easier making friends in vet school than it was in college. In college, everyone has different schedules, different goals in life. They participate in all different activities. But in college, you are locked in with the same 100 people in the same room for about eight hours a day. Needless to say, I had a solid friend group in vet school within about a week. There were some things that I thought would be very difficult for me in my vet school transition that ended up really not mattering at all. Pre-vet school me had a lot of hobbies. <laughs> I used to bake every Sunday afternoon. I used to journal a lot. I used to stay on top of like all my favorite shows, like anything Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, like I was on top of it and had seen all the latest stuff. Post-vet school me doesn't have time for any of that anymore. Confession, I haven't finished The Mandalorian yet. The moral of the story is that time management is absolutely key in your transition from college to vet school. Vet school is a lot more time consuming than college is. You spend a lot more time in the classroom and you're required to spend a lot more time outside of class studying. However, with proper time management and a well-planned schedule, you can absolutely fit in the things in your day that you can't live without. I call my mom almost every day, I still go to Bible study and church every week, and I still make YouTube videos. You will have to give up some things from your schedule that you might have been able to do in college, like sports, hobbies, social outings, or having a job even. But I promise that you won't miss these things as much as you think you will. Frankly, you're just so busy you forget about it. As long as you realize that the way you did things in college might not work out for a vet student's schedule and adjust accordingly, you'll be fine. 
Well, this is the Cecilia Report, and I'm Cecilia, and as always, if you have any vet school related questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I am here, and I am happy to help. Goodbye!